Sup guys, it's Alex here and welcome to another conference tournament prediction. This time around we got the Atlantic 10. They have Rhode Island and St. Bonaventure as the top two teams with Rhode Island getting that one seed right there, St. Bonaventure getting the two, Davidson getting a three, and then St. Joe's getting a four seed. Those are going to be the double by teams. St. Joe's had actually beaten Rhode Island at Rhode Island by 30 not too long ago. I think it was maybe a couple weeks ago, maybe even a week ago, something like that. But if you're new here, what I do is I take the tournament brackets that each conference has, then I go on a site called Bracketify.com, make a tournament for that. The link to vote on this will be in the description, and then that way you guys can go ahead and interact with it. We'll see who the uh, who the nation is predicting to win this conference tournament once I predict my winner. This uh, tournament already has over 2,000 votes so far for a 32-team bracket. That's not too shabby at all. I think it's more than almost all of the tournaments that I've done. I think only the ACC and the SEC have more votes, and I've already made videos on them. Haven't done it on the Atlantic 10, but let's see what happens with it. So we'll go ahead and start out with the first matchup here, and if you're new here, I do this for uh, all the bracketologies that come out from Joe Lenardi, and I'll be doing it for the NCAA tournament itself. So go and subscribe if you're new, and so let's go ahead and get right into it. Rhode Island gets the double bye here, so they're going to obviously win that game. Somebody picked the blank team to win. I'm going to go with the second blank team there. They're going to come back up. VCU is going to get a regular bye, so will Dayton. And then J St. Joe's will get a double bye, so they're going to be facing a blank team there. And then George Mason gets a regular bye. They're going to be facing the winner of LaSalle and Massachusetts. And you can kind of see me in the reflection right there. How you doing? <laughs> I'm going to have Massachusetts moving on here. They beat Georgia earlier in the season. I think they're going to beat LaSalle even as a 13 seed. St. Bonaventure is going to move on. They have a double bye. I think I'm going to go with the lower ranked team there. Richmond gets a regular bye. They're going to be facing Duquesne. And then Davidson gets the double bye. They're going to, I'm going to go ahead and vote for this other blank team. They're going to be facing the winner of St. Louis. And they're going to be facing the winner of George Washington and Fordham, which I think will be George Washington. So the second round, I guess you could say the, uh, yeah, I guess it would be the second round of the Atlantic 10. We are maybe the quarterfinals, no, second round, something like that. Rhode Island gets the double by there. They're moving on. VCU and Dayton. VCU is an, a regular NCAA tournament team. I think they made like six or seven in a row. That streak's ending this year unless they come back to win the Atlantic 10 tournament. I saw Dayton live last year against Wichita State. That was a pretty fun game to go to in Indianapolis. They ended up losing, but the atmosphere was amazing. There were a ton of Dayton fans there. But I'm going to go with VCU moving on. I think the chalk holds there. St. Joe's gets the double bye. And then George Mason versus UMass. Obviously, George Mason's going to win that game. And St. Bonaventure gets the double bye. They're going to face the winner of... Uh, actually, no. They, yeah, they will face the winner of Richmond and Duquesne. That's going to be Richmond. Davidson gets the double bye. They're going to face the winner of St. Louis and George Washington, which I'm going with an upset here. I'm going with George Washington. I think they win that game. Then Rhode Island moves on to the uh, semifinals, I think. Yeah, semifinals. They're going to beat VCU. St. Joe's will beat George Mason. St. Bonaventure will beat uh, Richmond. And then we got Davidson beating George Washington. So for a spot in the Atlantic 10 championship game, we got Rhode Island beating St. Joe's. I think they're going to get their revenge for losing by 30. And then St. Bonaventure is going to beat Davidson. Then we got St. Bonaventure, I think, is going to win the title. Rhode Island's basically already locked up a spot in the NCAA tournament. St. Bonaventure just needs to uh, get a couple quality wins in the Atlantic 10, and they'll be good to go. I think St. Bonaventure with Jalen Adams, or Jordan Adams, I think is his name, Jordan or Jalen, something like that. I think they're going to win uh, the Atlantic 10 championship, beat Rhode Island, and get the automatic bid from the Atlantic 10, and maybe even a 9 seed, 8 seed in the NCAA tournament. We'll see what happens. You can kind of see me in the reflection right there, so... There you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let's go ahead and check out the winner based off of who everybody thinks is going to win. Check out the results. And they got St. Bonaventure winning. The current leader, St. Bonaventure. They have 36 uh, people voting for them to win it all. Rhode Island has 24. And they also have more total votes than Rhode Island. So there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a comment and reactions based off of what I predicted and who you think is going to win. Make sure you like and subscribe if you are new. And for more college basketball content, the link to vote will be in the description. And I will see you all later. Thanks for watching.